Hi everyone, it's Alina here. Welcome to my channel. I'm super excited you guys can join me today and welcome to another tutorial in my thankful series for this month. And uh, last Friday I didn't post a video. Um, it was Veterans Day so I just took that time to spend time with my husband who's a retired specialist from the army and my daughters. So uh, I'm back today and uh, I'm going to be using this image. I used this image before, I think it was in the um, October release for a little blue button stamp. So I'm going to just bring it up close for you guys to see. There we go. And this is one of the latest images from Olga. Oh my goodness, excuse my nails. Sorry, I haven't had time to uh, repaint them. And when you go to her shop this is called the uh season of love and this is where you can find i'm going to make sure to leave a link down to the um little blue button stamp shop in the description box below but when you purchase this uh digital image not only do you get the girl but you get a ton of sentiment which i think is really nice give thanks happy thanksgiving harvest falls the season of love but you also get these smaller images as well, like this little turkey that's so cute, pumpkin, the birdhouse, that little bird, a shovel, and a rake. So <clears throat> not only are you just purchasing the image, but you're getting all of these sentiments and smaller images to complement this one here, which is great to make a scene, which is basically what I'm going to try to do today is make a scene using uh, this image here and a couple of other stamps from my stash. Now, I do not have any uh, surefire plans for this card. Um, yeah, I pretty much just printed off the image and I was like, oh, okay, well, I think I can do like a very pretty fall theme uh, background for this image and turn it into a thank you card. So here's another stamp set that I'm going to be using, Two Paper Divas. And you've seen me use this stamp a number of times on this uh, channel so far. Really love this uh, stamp set. And I will link to my um, fall and autumn cards for 2016 using these stamps here. And then I have this acorn, which I'm probably going to be using. And then I have my pumpkins from my Inky Dinky Do uh, small stamp set here. So I'm gonna be using that pumpkin and probably using that maple leaf as well. So with everything here, I am ready to go. So um, just sit back, relax, and I will catch you guys back here with the completed card.
Okay, now here is the uh, completed card, and this is confession time for me right now. Um, I decided to turn this into a shaker, so after I had already finished filming and I had my background complete, I turned my camera off, and uh, yeah, decided to create a shaker element for this card using some more colored and punched out leaves that I used my EK Success Small Maple Leaf Punch for that. Um, as you can see, I use a uh, pattern paper, and that is from a color book uh, paper pad. So I'm going to make sure to leave all the links to all the products that I use down in the description box below. And uh, I created my shaker uh, portion of the card, and I added the leaves and some gold sequins. Because I thought it would be cool to have like the leaves falling down over the girl and the bird. And uh, yeah, just have them settle at the bottom of the card and uh, yeah so I created a shaker card out of this image so I mean yeah I, if I hadn't turned I wish I would have turned the camera on but it was kind of one of those things I was in the moment and I just kind of went for it but uh, yeah that'll do it for this card today guys thank you so much for watching please give this video a like and subscribe and uh, I'll catch you guys on Friday with a new tutorial. Have a great day, and uh, I'll see you guys then. Bye.